Looking for a fun, new, exciting way to play fantasy sports? Make sure to check out FanDuel. Use code BENGAL at sign up for a $20 deposit bonus when you enter that code. It is the best and most fun way to play daily fantasy sports. I know I play fantasy football for the daily fantasy sports all the time. I can't really handle the grind of the season. So this is just the best way and the most fun way for me to play any type of fantasy sports. I've been doing it for a couple of years now in FanDuel. It's just absolutely the best. So make sure to use code BENGAL at sign up. $20 deposit bonus. And also, if you guys want to check out my second and third channels for other videos and games you might see with some of your other favorite YouTubers that I collab with. Make sure you check that out. Both links are in the description. What's going on guys? Bengal again here coming back at you with another video. This is going to be the intro and I'm not going to record the episode right now because I am just not in that kind of mode. I'm going to go to bed pretty soon getting pretty tired. However, I did testing and as some people were saying in the comment section that pass defense reaction time or pass coverage or both one of these two, if not both of them, work in the opposite direction of the way they actually go. So we had it on like 38-38, I believe, for pass defense reaction time and pass coverage. That makes them play better. So if you had 0-0 zero, zero for pass coverage and pass defense reaction time, in theory with the way these sliders work from the test that I ran, they would play everything super, super tight. So the further we went down, the better the coverage got. I think for the sake of the series and for realism and really for the series, I'm going to raise it. So it was 38-38. I'm running 48 now for pass defense reaction time and 58 for pass coverage. I've also turned wide receiver catching from 46 to 49. I know that doesn't seem like a big, huge change. But when it was on 50, I think CPU catching was ridiculously overpowered. Like, you had running backs going up and mossing defensive backs, and you had... Uh, you know, running backs, catching the ball out of the backfield or wherever, taking a huge shot. You know, all these players taking huge shots over the middle and holding onto the ball 100 times out of 100, it felt like. So wide receiver catching, I'm trying 49 and not 50. I think the huge issue with the CPU right now is uh, their offenses don't work as well. And part of that, I think our defense was a little bit too strong. We'll try 60 We'll do 60-50 for the time being, actually. And I am going to turn up run blocking. Their run blocking continues to be a non-factor uh, in a lot of games. They don't really run that well. And I think part of that is blocking. We'll try 75, and uh, we're going to bump up our run blocking, too. Only two, but we've been stopping the backfield every single play, it feels like, in the uh, past couple of episodes after this new title update. And the title update continually screws my sliders and even though we have a really good offensive line again we couldn't get any type of run blocking going at all so i am moving it up too and um yeah i'll see you i guess in a few seconds but tomorrow for me or the next day or whenever i get to recording this so uh miss you what's going on guys bengal again here i've already introed i guess so there's no need for that bs it's a new day and a new haircut i don't know if you guys noticed um so I, I hate to do another advertisement, but like that intro stuff that I do, I know a lot of people probably skip through it at this point, but like FanDuel is actually like, I actually play that. It's not a script. I made, I said that because I mean it. And then on the second channel, the let's plays have been so much fun to record and I've been gotten good feedback on them. I've been getting, I've gotten whatever you want to say. And, um, even the third channel, like people love those videos, like cards against humanity with wheels healy mark not the expert uh antonio shred like those are some of the most fun videos to record and they've gotten the best feedback so if, if you're interested if you're not i get it who cares but if you're interested i'd appreciate if you check it out but i'm gonna follow some more common suggestions you guys saw that i changed the sliders saquon barkley and odell beckham jr are 99 overalls so we're gonna go into equipment here and we're gonna go ahead and give saquon barkley and Odell Beckham Jr., the 99 overall, um, 99 overall gloves. So he gets one there, and we'll go the other way because I think it's going to be a little bit faster. So we'll give him the 99 club gloves. And I don't know if you guys want cleats as well. I feel like the red's cool, but also, like, the gold's cool because it's 99 whatever. I mean... Not these ones, because he's a running back, but I think the 99 Club Nike Alpha Menace Pro 
Like, they, they are pretty sick, and he is a 99 overall. You get to a 99 overall, you're gonna get the gold stuff. That is cool, I didn't really pick up on that. You guys suggested that in the comments, so I think that was actually a pretty worthwhile suggestion. Odell, 99 overall as well. So we'll go ahead and give him the stuff, so you guys can see what that's gonna look like too. And, um, he's also gonna have the Nike Alpha Menace Pro. I don't wanna give him the Force Savage Elite because I don't love the high tops on wide receivers. Maybe if he was a tight end or a quarterback on offense or a lineman, we'd give it to him, but he's a wide receiver. The only position I give it to on defense would be uh, a defensive lineman, maybe a linebacker, depending on what they do, but uh, definitely not a wide receiver, definitely not a running back. So we are gonna go with this and um, Let's go, are there two? No, there's just one. I don't know which way is the fastest way to go, so. Did I pass it? No, I didn't. All right, so here's what it's gonna look like. All gold, everything. Looks pretty sick. Looks pretty good. I'm a fan. Still looking at some of the players that we could go after. Uh, I'm looking for maybe another pass rusher. Our defense is phenomenal, you guys know that. The offense, I like. We're really only looking at quarterback and Right now, there's no main quarterback that jumps out at me. We got Aaron Cottom, Jacoby Hansen, Tucker Searles. I don't love any of them. Tucker Searles is in the lead. Although, I don't know. He, he doesn't jump out at me. We'll have to see what he's looking like. And then, uh, halfback, we're fine. Wide receiver, I like Davian Keel a lot. I think his height's good. He fits the scheme. He has good stats, or good attributes, good three skills. Aquarius Henry's good. We know Davian Keel's like a, an Olympic sprinter or something ridiculous. I can't remember what the actual thing said in the news section, but it was something along the lines of Davian Keel, whatever. Yeah, Olympic track star. Like, he's going to be pretty fast, probably. And we see as DBs go, Ishaq Connor is good. All right. Ross Farrier has serious business aspirations. And he's giving up football. Okay. <laughs> and, um... Apparently, Jacoby Hansen topped Aaron Cottom in week six for quarterback. And we're potentially looking at quarterback. I think Kyle Aletta is good enough to be the starter. I know a lot of people don't like Kyle Aletta, but he's got quick development. His accuracy is all good. Like, 82, 88, 86 is not bad. And he's got good throw power at this point. So I know you guys, for the most part, don't like Kyle Aletta. I've, he's a better option than a lot of rookies would be. That's why I didn't take one last year. I check Connor's a safety. He looks all right. We're not really in the market for a safety. We're looking really at cornerback and at pass rusher. I know it's not a pass rusher on the outside, but he's all right. We'll look at middle linebackers too, just in case. Gregory Anthony, double first name is pretty good. Devon Stinson. I honestly like Darion Ellis as well. I don't know. It's something to think about. We will also upgrade players before we get into this week's matchup against the Arizona Cardinals. Morris Dubose. I know we're a man scheme, but, like, we only ever play zone. And I want him to get, like, 99 zone. So we are going to upgrade zone. Gets him up to a 92 overall. He's well on his way to a 99. And he gets a plus two zone as well. That is killer. 99 speed, 94 zone coverage. We might go man for his next upgrade point because it doesn't cost him that much to get upgraded. Only 70,000, or should be 7,476 points. And he would get more experience points if he fit the scheme. Which we could change to make him fit better, but I don't know that I'm going to do that. And then Olivier Vernon. It's probably best to just go into power moves here. Upgrade power rusher. 89 overall. I am down with that. Well, with confidence, of course. And then Caesar Mack is bad. We got Caesar Mack, Casey McKay. Both receivers I don't like, and they're kind of like the four and fives. So that's why I'm looking at receiver in the draft. Also, I, I don't know. You guys let me know about Howard Russell. I know this is a really long-winded uh, intro, but some of them are. Has Howard Russell... No, no, no. Has Howard Russell impressed you guys or not? Has he lived up to expectations? His first year... 54 catches, 747 yards, only three touchdowns. That's a pretty good rookie year, especially as a third. And then this year, 30 catches, 343, and three touchdowns through um, 11 weeks. 
I don't know. Uh, let me know. What, how do you guys feel about Howard Russell? I'm kind of indifferent, to be honest. They're 77 overall. We might just do a, a thing that we did last episode, which is like sim the moments a little bit and then play the Saints. Because I think this game would be kind of boring. All right, we'll simulate quickly here. Defense needs help already. Wow, okay. This, this might be an interesting game, then. I think it's going to be a lot of simulating in this game. I do want to play the Saints in this video. Oh, there's a run. David Johnson. 12-yard touchdown on this Giants defense. I know we raised run blocking quite a bit, but that was David Johnson more than anybody else. We'll skip some of these until we get maybe a little bit later in the game. So it is 10-7 New York Giants, but it looks like Arizona is going to score another field goal, or should be another touchdown, making it 14-10 Arizona here in the second half. Now 21-10 Arizona Cardinals. We're jumping in. Adele lining up in the slot is a pretty good matchup on second and three. And he's burned Patrick Peterson. Inside pass lead, diving touchdown for Odell Beckham Jr. The LSU wide receiver burns the LSU cornerback, of course, both former, obviously. And uh, we're right back in this football game. 18-21 in favor of the Arizona Cardinals. I didn't realize that's not Josh Rosen. That's Nick Foles as their quarterback. Nick Foles is their quarterback. And he picks up the first down. Alexander Espinoza in coverage versus a wide receiver was a mismatch. And it was exploited. Arizona only gets a field goal here, but they get the football right back. I would honestly expect them to run the ball. It's second and six. They don't want to turn over, but they are going to throw. But it is going to go to David Johnson either way. Got B.J. Goodson coming in to make the stop. And we've allowed almost 400 yards today. How have we held them to only 24 points? And one passing touchdown, it looked like it said. Jesus. David Johnson, 27 carries for 175 and two touchdowns. Good Lord. Our defense has been pummeled today. There's Damon Harrison. He spun him out and then juked out another broke a tackle. David Johnson is unbelievable. What was that? Fourth and 15, we have to go for it. They are putting us in a uh, not so favorable moment here. We're just gonna take a shot. We have Odell and it's overthrown. Maybe should have tried a rack catch there. I thought the ball placement would be a lot different. 35 to 18 now. It is going to be a long shot at a comeback. What the hell, man? They're like a 70 overall. We're a 91. That's wide open, though. Sterling Shepard. We're going to have to move into the hurry-up for this entire drive. A touchdown keeps us in it. Don't take the ball out of my hands. All right. We're going to skip that moment. And uh, come back in on third down. The user's got to come out, guys. I'm sure everyone's cool with it. Someone pressure. Oh, my God. Julius Manning in coverage just torched and even though we've shown the best defense in the NFL over this season uh, it looks like it won't matter because this game is is over if we don't hold them to a field goal a turnover would be gigantic I doubt we see anything but a run here but they could I mean it is third and eight they're gonna run it we finally subdue them Arizona's going to kick a field goal, make it 38-25. And uh, I get stuck with another third down. These moments have been so bad. Hey, fourth down, fourth down, fourth down. You don't get to control the drive at all. That's what I get from playing the moments. I'm aware. But these are really tough moments to where, like, you can't come back when they don't give you a chance to come back. I didn't want to throw that. Wrong button. Wrong button. That's the game. Wow, we're going to lose to the Arizona Cardinals. <laughs> Unbelievable. That that might have just killed our playoff chances. It really may have. Uh, Nick Foles. I hate this overlay just as much as you guys do. Kyle Oletta was actually pretty good. Saquon was pretty good. How do we lose? How do we not score? Odell had three touchdowns. 
What happened in this game? Espinosa with two sacks. Robert Kandichi got after us. Tano passing on. Interception for Julius Manning. Maybe the first of his career. What happened in this game? We dominated them. And yet we lose. Upgrade point for Howard Russell. We're going to go to deep threat. He becomes an 82 overall. It is just his second season as he gets better. Spectacular catch continues to rise. It's at a 96, yet he never makes any of those. Route running is getting a lot better. Release is good. He's a good player. I'm not going to take anything away from him. He's a good player for sure. But uh, as I said, our season might be over with that loss. We don't have another division matchup the entire rest of the year. And, uh, I mean, the Cowboys and Redskins both lose. So that actually helps us out a lot. The NFC East is real close. Five losses. I, we could still make the playoffs, but I'd really like to win out. That loss is tough. All right, huge game against the Saints. We are on the road. They are a good team. What do we want to come out in? All whites again? I think we don't really have a ton of options. We could go classic away. We don't even have that as an option. All right, so we're going to be coming out in the... Uh, we're coming out in the current away. That's fine. Got the Saints. Gotta win. Walking into the Metrodome is no easy task, no matter who's playing quarterback. Uh, the Saints quarterback could be Drew Brees. It could not be Drew Brees. I don't know. Fun fact, he just broke the record for passing yards ever tonight. So, congrats to Drew Brees. Saints-Giants. Mercedes-Benz Superdome. I, did I say the Metrodome? I know I didn't say the Metrodome. Did I say the Metrodome? There's no. I, I know the Hubert H. Humphrey Metrodome, which is no longer open in Minnesota. Not the Mercedes-Benz Super. There's no way I said that. Either way, it's getting cut out because now it feels weird. I wouldn't have said that, but I'm brain dead enough to the point where I may have. I don't know. All right, so defense should be significantly harder as we were dominated dominated by the Cardinals somehow um, for the most part. I mean, they had so many yards on us. I guess we just couldn't capitalize. Is it a draw? Oh, it's not! And it's a dropped interception. Drew Brees fired right over the middle for Michael Thomas. Alex Espinosa was right there and he drops the easy pick. Would have been his, like, 80th on the season. Drew Brees under pressure! Sacked! It's picked up by B.J. Goodson! Olivier Vernon, I believe, got the pressure in and stripped the ball out. Drew Brees tried to step up in the pocket and found OV. Let's go. What a weird start. How are the Cardinals going to annihilate us with Nick Foles? But Drew Brees' first two plays of the game are just horrific. He's trying to turn over the football as we find Odell. And he fumbles! It's recovered in the end zone by the Saints by former giant Obi Melifonwu. And the ball's going the other way. What is going on this game? Two turnovers on back-to-back -back plays and the Saints have it right back. What in the hell? It's so awesome to have a stud linebacker like Alex, uh, Alex Espinoza on the field. The Giants just have never had that. I know like, the last one was Antonio Pierce. But the Giants have not had one since as Morris DuBose delivers a big hit over the middle. And it's just, I know it's a video game, but like, it's fantastic to see the Giants with an actual good linebacking core and a solid defense, an offense that moves the ball pretty well. I guess that's how you know it's a video game. All right, let's see if we can have success running the ball today. As Saquon Barkley's out to a pretty good start for a gain of 10 yards. 16 rushes for 89 last week. Probably should have handed them the ball more times, but the CPU wasn't feeling it. Kylo Letta had a good performance as well. It's really hard to dispute anything uh, about that game other than we didn't win. Just couldn't convert. Oh, I wanted it. I wanted Evan Ingram. We're going to step up. Well, Letta breaks a sack, dives forward. That was... I just kind of freaked out. I didn't want to throw an interception to a lurking defender. Just decided to take what was there. And... Uh, live to die another day after turning the ball over super early we got Saquon Barkley picks up the first down we almost never get it out of that so we are going to mix it up and try to find something different we got him Evan Ingram underneath 
course, did not pick up the first down as we threw underneath, which is what we usually do. But you know what? We're going to play aggressive. Fourth and two from the 45. We're going for it all day. All day. Now, I am a big Texas Longhorns fan, and we don't have a Sam Ellinger or even in the, you know, another top of the reference, the Giants with the Panthers, where the Giants should have won this week. We don't have a Cam Newton where we just run the ball for like a QB draw. We do get it with Saquon Barkley, new 99 overall player, showing off the gloves and the cleats as we beat the Blitz. Like Barkley out of the backfield, but it looks like they kind of picked him up. We can make a man miss. We would add a lot of yardage. Who is that? Is that Manti Teo who made the tackle? Is that just wearing 51 nowadays? I believe it might be. All right, we are picking up the first down here on third and eight. Dude, you've got to be kidding me. And he misses it. Get the ball! Marcus Davenport on the recovery. I feel like Laletta's release is just too slow. Or I don't have the timing right on some of these routes, but I just want something to get a little bit more open. And I'm waiting too long, and we're getting sacked. And of course, Laletta fumbles every time he's touched, pretty much. We just need another big stop from the defense. This is another game that we have where the offenses just can't get going on both sides for one reason or another. And uh, we just we need to step up. Dalvin Tomlinson. Proving to be probably our best interior defensive lineman. Damon Harrison's very good. But I think at this point, Dalvin Tomlinson maybe has per, uh, surpassed Snacks as the most productive interior defensive lineman on this team. That's open. And that's a great play by Landon Collins to break it up on third down and eight. New Orleans going to have to punt the ball right back to us. Fourth and eight. Thomas Morstead will be the punter. Morris DuBose back to return. And let's see what Mo can do. Doesn't look like anything as Morstead punts the ball away from Moore Is. I almost want to give him the ball again and see if we can just run to our better side and have good blocking. They only have six guys in the box. We're going to try it on third down and six. Saquon up the middle and we got it. Gain of 10. That's a blitz off that right side. We're going to run the ball to the right away from the blitz. Hopefully he doesn't follow up around the back. Uh, try to cut it to the outside and the speed of Saquon Barkley Manages to get it, barely, but we got it. Looking for an open man. We got one coming back across the field and blockers ahead of him. It's Howard Russell, a great block from Sterling Shepard, and he is into the end zone for the touchdown here in New Orleans, 43 yards. As he showcases his version of the whip over what Odell has working. And we are finally on the board as the former USC wide receiver Put six up on the board. Seven nothing. Come on, Damon Harrison. Somebody get to him. That's open. Cameron Meredith on Morris DuBose makes the catch. Were we in man coverage there? I'm not sure if we were or not. We were in man coverage. And the in beats Mo DuBose. Oh, great shed by Harrison. Doesn't have the speed to get to him. Good play made in the next level of the defense by B.J. Goodson, but we had that wrapped up in the backfield. But uh, we're struggling here a little bit to stop the pass. But when we get pressure like that, it's nothing but a thing. B.J. Goodson to the quarterback. Drew Brees goes down again. Why did he even blitz? He shouldn't have blitzed on that. I'm all right with it. Lawrence Thomas is going to come in here from Dalvin Tomlinson on third and eight. We're gonna try to get after Breeze. We dove too early. Breeze is taken off. He slides for 13. Oh no. Cam Meredith again beats DuBose to the inside. As Drew Breeze is targeting me a little bit. Seems like anybody on Morris DuBose offense right now, unfortunately, as he is usually a lockdown cornerback. And these are big completions. going to be a touchdown for the running back Edmonds as he throws the ball God knows where the Saints are on the board going to tie it up seven to seven five minutes here to play in the second quarter third and nine play action to Saquon Barkley we're rolling out throwing it that was a stupid throw but Odell makes the catch 
He came back to the football a little bit. Kyle Oletta got it over the heads of the New Orleans Saints defense. And somehow this drive is still alive on a yikes decision to throw that ball there on third down. Try to slow her down. But if we have the touchdown, we're going to take it. Saquon Barkley into the end zone for the touchdown. Obi Melifonwu couldn't quite catch up to him. And uh, we are, again, scoring some points, running through our younger players on the team. This team is pretty young, to be honest. There's not a player we can go to that's old. Odell, Sterling Shepard, Evan Ingram, Demar Jacobs, Howard Russell, Saquon Barkley, Carlos Kershaw. And this is a super, super young offense. Defense, we got some older guys. Damon Harrison, Olivier Vernon now. Uh, but yeah, this is a very, very young team, which means it's going to be a great team for a while as Nat DeGear maybe saves a touchdown. I was looking a little bit at Andrew Dicey play. That's a stretch. We have been in a strange amount of man coverage this game, considering our personnel and what we usually run. As that should be picked off, it's not. Derwin James, all right, I get it. Play the receiver because it's a touchdown if you don't. If you miss the ball, it's a good way to get break on the football. Okay, I'll take it. Third and seven. Clock continues to move. We could get the ball back and score, but that is wide open. No longer an option. It's just no longer an option. Drew Brees putting on quite the performance here as the Saints are looking to get on the board yet again. Can we apply some pressure? Going back of the end zone. Touchdown, Josh Hill is wide open he's just wide open in the back of the end zone the guy who was supposed to be there wasn't it was a linebacker and it's going to be 14 14 we have 46 seconds and three timeouts to score there it is sterling shepherd on the play that we couldn't connect on earlier big third down conversion we are just about in field goal range do we want to settle for a field goal that is the question I don't think I want to. We have a timeout. We can go over the middle of the field if we want. Which I think we will. One of these routes is going to get open. And we fumble. We better pick up. Pick up the ball! How many fumbles is that for Kyle Aletta on this series, man? I don't mean that series. I mean the series. We've turned over the ball three times. Three fumbles. Odell, two for Laletta. The Saints are in scoring position now. They're gonna call a timeout. From the 39, they have five seconds. This might be enough to try a field goal. They're gonna try one. Their kicker is Steven Goskowski. So if anyone can make this, Steven Goskowski can make it. This is not an unreasonably long field goal. It's long, it's not unreasonably long. And that kick is going to sail through as time expires here in the first half. We're going to be down 17-14 because we have no ball security at all. Absolutely none. We have almost 100 more yards of offense than they do. And we're losing. This cannot happen. This is what happened last week when we were at the Cardinals, it looks like. Where we were just overall better and still couldn't find a way to win. We're going to have to lean on Saquon Barkley. We're going to run the ball down their throat. Their front seven, not particularly good. They've got a couple good defensive linemen. Obviously, Sheldon Rankins is good. Tyler Davis just makes some plays and he makes another one there. Cam Jordan's good. Their linebacking core is weak. If we can block the defensive line, the next level of that defense cannot do anything. Third and two, Saquon Barkley is getting the ball. Give me a dive. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta snap it. It's gonna be a stretch. We're gonna cut it back though. Saquon breaks a tackle and we don't get it. Fourth and one. Oh, we're gonna punt. Gotta stop him. It's gonna be another run. Frack it. Roman Pugh can't wrap up, but Espinosa can. Huge tackle from the rookie middle linebacker. New Orleans likely will punt from the same position that we were in. And we're going to have another chance. So the punt was the right decision. Let's see what Morris DuBose can do from a return perspective. We got blocks. You're telling me 99 speed can't outrun DeMario Davis to the outside? 
What is this player speed threshold on these sliders, man? He is 99 speed. Let it let it do something. Let 99 speed feel fast. Come on. Oh, and I feel like I want to fade Demar Jacobs here. But we'll stick with the levels concept instead. They're going to blitz up the middle. And we're looking for something. We're going to go Odell. Kyle Oletta on the run is about as bad of a quarterback as you're going to find. And we don't manage to convert. And we're in man coverage. And we are going to punt the football right back. It's kind of like a no-brainer that Alexander Espinosa won the defensive. Uh, well, he won Heisman as a defensive player. Won the Heisman. And he's, he's all over the field. It's easy to see why. DuBose with great closing speed. And it's dropped by Landon Collins. And then into the hands of Morris DuBose, who also can't hold on to the interception. We're not getting many of these opportunities. And we haven't capitalized once. Nobody on this team can intercept the ball. Great play by DuBose. And it, it, like we don't get anything to show for it. So we can't take the football away. But they're going short. Just wrap up. Just wrap up. Stick them out of bounds. I don't care. Anything you have to do. No first downs allowed. This might be the time for a shot. Play action on second and one. We're actually going to dump off to Barkley. And it's picked off by Ken Crawley. That's going to be a pick six. Tried to play super conservative with the pressure coming in. They did not bite on the play action. Everyone held their assignment. And they were in cover three clouds. So the hard flat on that side for Ken Crawley. If they were in a cover three, like normal, that would have been wide open. And I thought he was dropping back like he was. Nope, he's playing a hard flat. That is unbelievable. 24-14 in favor of the Saints here at home. We're going to have a little bit of work to do to get back in this ball game. But it's only a 10-point game. Still nobody blocks for DuBose as a returner. And he's not agile. He's not He's not a great returner other than straightforward. So even if we were to draft a player like Davian Keel in this class, he might get a lot of return duties over a guy like DuBose. And it's picked off again. Patrick Robinson this time. We were going quick to Howard Russell on the slant. Who I gotta check this in replay. He beat press. But then what happened here? He he beat press. But right there when the ball was about to be thrown, he got pushed. He got pushed off the route. And the route was a little bit different than it would have been. The ball was thrown later right into the hands of Patrick Robinson. That's just the worst ever timing. We've turned over the ball five times. We're lucky our defense is so good. Otherwise, this would be no game at all. Third and three. Do I trust my players in man coverage? Not really. Not really. But we're going to stick in it. Hopefully, they run the ball. Dalvin Tomlinson. That's what you got to do. Big players make big plays. Third down is the biggest down of the four, arguably, for a defense. I think I think pretty much, not even arguably, I think everyone would agree with that. Other than when they go for a fourth down, obviously it's huge. But that happens maybe 10% of the time or, or less, probably way less than 10. But we are down by two touchdowns. We're gonna have 12 minutes to do it. Final minute here of the third quarter and then the 11 minutes that we're gonna have in the fourth. Oh man. Hole may be opened up after I made my cut, which is unfortunate. There is a flag. Hopefully, it's for a face mask. Illegal block in the back. It's an illegal block in the back, so that's going to hurt us, actually. We're going to line up at our own 18 instead of on the 28. Underneath, though, we got Sterling Shepard. Got to be a first down, and it is. Sterling Shepard, pickup of 20. Gets us out of the doghouse. Making use of the clock here. And we have nothing but space for Laletta. We're going to slide, and it's a huge pickup. The offense is moving here. All hope is not lost. Our defense is good. Our defense can hold them. We just can't give them easy points the way we've been doing. Beckham on the field. Shepard on the field. Those are the two playmakers you're going to watch out for. Maybe Saquon Barkley on the wheel. And he is wide open. Saquon Barkley catches the ball down inside the red zone at the 17. Here's a handoff to Barkley. 
spins back across and he's into the end zone for the touchdown. We are right in this ball game thanks to Saquon Barkley. We need to blitz heavy here. They're entering field goal range, which is really, really bad for us. So hopefully sending heat will help us out a lot. And big hit from Olivier Vernon. That's a big loss. We need to force them out of the 40. It's second and 12. We might have to run commit this time. We might have to run commit. It's gonna, this is a dangerous call. We're gonna use our Darwin James. And it looks like it is a run. We're gonna wrap it up in the backfield again. And there's an injury timeout. Dominique Easley, who rarely sees the field, is the injured giant. Could be a lot worse. Drew Brees pressured from behind. I need Roman Q to bring down Drew Brees there. It's gonna set up another long field goal for the Saints. He hit this earlier with ease. We'll see if we can do something about it this time. Kick is up and it is just sneaking over the bar. The Saints extend their lead to nine and that means it's still a two score game. We might go deep here first play. We have Howard Russell in a pretty good matchup. We're going to stand in the pocket. We're going to go deep. Howard Russell. Turn into triple coverage. Howard Russell still had a step. Great set of wideouts on the field for us. Caesar, Mack, Casey McKay, Sterling Shepard. We're actually going to go to one of them. It's McKay. He makes the catch, and we're going to move into the hurry up. Just hand the ball off to Saquon Barkley real quick. There's five minutes left, but who knows how the Saints could perform on offense. I'm not taking any chances. We're going to try to just up the tempo, keep playing fast, and keep giving Saquon Barkley the ball. That's the move. Third and two. Wayne Gallman's the tailback. We're going to run the ball anyway, though. He stopped short. He did not get it. This brings us with a tough decision. We have to kick the field goal here, I think. We're gonna have to. And just hope that we stop them. Obviously no win, so this should be an easy kick for Audrey Rosas. Basically right down the middle. Makes it a six point game, but this means that we cannot allow any New Orleans Saints points. No points. Let's shut them down, defense. Big Blue Wrecking Crew is back in business. And let's, uh, Let's show them what we got in store. Go to Josh Hill. It doesn't matter. Great stuff from the defense. The Roman soldier. Shuts down Kamara in the backfield. No celebrating, though. Clock is now officially under three minutes. And they might run the ball here on third and 14. They're going to throw it. And he's going at me to use your pick with Derwin James. Easy reads. One fish, two fish. Redfish, Bluefish, and the ball is back in the hands of Kyle Oletta and the New York Giants. Welcome to the driver's seat, ladies and gentlemen. Saquon Barkley is the tailback. Ball goes to him, bowls over one. Picks up the first down for a gain of 10. Saquon already with two rushing touchdowns here in this game. And New Orleans, of course, going for that football as that's going to be the two-minute warning. Giants down by six. Saints looking to hold on to this lead. If we score a touchdown, the game, of course, is not over. As the Saints couldn't very well have some time. And uh, that very tricky extra point could be the death of us. As we maybe had that there. I don't know if we needed a truck. Barkley's the running back again. Would it be insane to hand the ball off to him? I don't think so. 99 overall. Saquon Barkley. First down and more. Saquon down at the one. And New Orleans electing not to use any of their timeouts. That's a bold strategy. See how it pays off. We're under 30 seconds now. Barkley still the tailback. The New Orleans defensive line motions. And Saquon Barkley into the end zone for the touchdown. Of course, the defensive line doesn't motion. They shift. But that's, you know, irrelevant of the point. 30 to 30 after Saquon's third touchdown of the game. And here is the extra point to take the lead. And it is right down Broadway. The Giants, with under 20 seconds to play, take a 31-30 lead over the Saints at home. 
I think this is the time for man coverage. Sit in man, back up, whatever they want to do. They're out of field goal range right now. Got to hold them to that. Get pressure! And it's almost picked off by Espinosa! Kamara gets it and gets down with one second to go. The Saints are going to have a desperation heave to the end zone as the final play of the game. Drew Brees has to throw it a long way, but he probably still has the arm. He's going to throw it early. Julius Manning intercepts it, and that's the ball game. He gets out of bounds, and that is the dagger. I didn't say that right. I meant to say the game, but dagger, whatever. We got it. In an absolute thriller versus the Saints, we come back to win. I love it. What a game, to be honest. One of my favorite episodes of the series. Both quarterbacks weren't perfect, but they played real well in terms of completion percentage. And uh, it just turns out that interceptions cost both teams a game. Saquon was sick. But I don't even feel like that's the real story here. The defense stepped up and made the plays. Morris DuBose wasn't fantastic in coverage, but the two safeties, Julius Manning to ice it, really Derwin James with the game-changing interception. And of course, uh, forced fumbles for the entire Saints defense. And Olivier Vernon, one defensive touchdown for Ken Crawley. Wow, what a game. Our upgrade points for Alex Espinoza and Sterling Shepard, which we will use in the next episode, and I'm sure a couple more players than that. Huge, huge victory over the Saints as uh, we advance to take on another team with gold. Looking for the gold in the 4-8 and eight San Francisco 49ers. It is a three-way tie in the NFC East right now. Could be the storyline for next game. We'll see if we can take the lead in the NFC East. Will be a huge one, but until next time, guys, thanks for watching. Take it easy.